Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. Uh, my name is Zakib Javed. In this video, uh, I am going to discuss uh, how to do in-depth keyword research uh, for the product listing and uh, especially Amazon PPC campaigns. So before starting the video, uh, if you didn't subscribe the YouTube channel, then subscribe the YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. So most of the people uh, ask me brother uh, how to do in-depth keyword research uh, for the PPC campaigns. So this video for you and I hope this video will uh, help you a lot. So uh, let's start the video uh, with the examples. Uh, we are selling this product uh, acrylic sign holder uh, 8.5 into 11 inches. So I'm going to uh, keyword research for these products. So uh, what do you need to do? I uh, just uh, search the uh, product with the main keyword and uh, then run the x-ray on that page uh, when you click on x-ray then you will uh, get the results or the x-ray dashboard uh, like that after that uh, now you need to uh, first of all uh, you need to remove the essence which are showing as advertised like if you see there are the top four uh, listings uh, which are showing as sp means sponsored so first of all we need to remove them so you need to click on filter results you need to click on uh, hide sponsor products from results and apply the filter so our uh, listings are removed so after that now next step is that uh, you need to sort out the uh, data uh, from high to low sales so you just need to uh, double click on sales so data will be uh, sorted out from uh, high to low uh, sales now uh, after that we need to select top 10 uh, best selling essence of uh, which are similar to your product we need to do reverse session of these essence like first of all you need to check out which one design which one size which one color uh, you are going to sell so you need to select those essence who have a same design same size or the same color uh, to your product so as i have sorted uh, the sales from high to low so now i will select top 10 uh, best selling uh, similar designs uh, uh, to my product so this one is similar 8.5 into 11 acrylic sign holder i'm going to select this one uh, this is a very different design this is very different design this one is a relevant design uh, this were, this is very uh, uh, irrelevant design this is relevant design so I will select the uh, uh, super uh, relevant designs for the uh, better keywords so I am going to select top 10 best uh, selling uh, relevant uh, essence so uh so here is i have selected top 10 uh, uh relevant and best selling design so just need to uh, reverse them so click on run sari bro Now after that, uh, you are seeing that uh, we have a reverse action of these top 10 essays and uh, Helium 10 fetched out 16,000 keywords. So these all keywords are not relevant to me. I have to apply many filters after many filters then I will uh, uh, define a complete sheet of keywords uh, which are relevant to my product. So I'm going to apply a filter uh, th that just show me the keywords who have a search volume more than uh, 400 so just apply the filter uh, now keywords are just 2600 uh, now we just need to uh, export the data in an excel file so click on save as, as excel file and excel file uh, will be downloaded in a few seconds so excel file is downloaded and uh, let me open the excel sheet So here is the list of keywords uh, that uh, we have generated from the reverse session. So let me format this sheet. So uh, these are the reverse session keywords. So I'm going to name this sheet is uh, Cerebro keywords okay so i will just copy this list and i will paste this list into another sheet
तो इन दिस की वर्ड लिस्ट देर विल बी मैनी इ रेलिवेंट की वर्ड्स विच आर नॉट रेलिवेंट टू माई प्रोडक्ट सो आई नीड टू रिमूव द इ रेलिवेंट की वर्ड्स सो वट आई विल डू फॉर दिस पर्पज आई नीड टू रिमूव सम कॉलम्स विच आर नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर मी लाइक दिस आई एम गोइंग टू रिमूव दिस कॉलम आई जस्ट नीड टू कीप द कॉलम आई जस्ट नीड टू कीप द थ्री टाइप ऑफ कॉलम फर्स्ट वन इज की वर्ड फ्रेज सेकेंड वन सर्च वॉल्यूम फ्रे सर्च वॉल्यूम कॉलम एंड थर्ड वन इज नंबर ऑफ टेन एस इज कॉलम एंड रेस्ट ऑफ दैम आई विल रिमूव दैम फ्राम दिस शीट सो आई सिलेक्ट दैम एंड आई एम गोइंग टू रिलीट दैम जस्ट कीप द सर्च वॉल्यूम एंड सर्च वॉल्यूम की वर्ड फ्रेज एंड टेन एसेंस सो अ पोजिशन रैंक इज द फर्स्ट वन एसेंस दैट वी हैव टारगेटिंग इन द सैरी ब्रो एक्चुअली बाई डिफॉल्ट हिलियम टेन नेम डिट एज पोजिशन रैंक सो दिस वन नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू फिल्टर दैट आई नीड टू आई नीड दिस टाइप ऑफ की वर्ड ऑन विच दीज कम्पिटिटर्स आर रैंक डाउन so i will uh, uh, create a new column and i will name the this column is as relevancy so in the relevancy i will put a formula and uh, in the formula i just mentioned just show me the keywords on which these top assets are ranked in the first uh, first page of in the first page and under 35 position so uh, the formula of relevancy is that equal count if break uh, bracket Uh, select the first assent, then shift control and right arrow. It will select all the assents. Then comma semicolon a uh, less than and thirty five and semicolon then uh close the bracket and click on enter. So you so he's uh th this formula is saying that the plastic paper holder having a relevancy of seven out of ten. This means that this keyword is very uh relevant to my uh, product. So I will apply the formula to the whole column. so like this one now there will be uh, many type of keywords who have a poor relevancy so i need to remove the keywords who have a poor relevancy so that's why i'm going to filter the first row and in the first row i if you see uh, there are many type of keywords who have a zero relevancy one relevancy two relevancy these type of keywords are very irrelevant so if you want to check then see uh, 0 1 2 Clear display holder. It's very different from my product. The acrylic display, poster holder, plastic frames. These all keywords are irrelevant from my product. So I need to remove these keywords. So what I will do in relevancy, I will keep all the uh, uh, all the uh, relevant uh, keywords except zero. Have uh, except keywords having a relevancy of zero, one, and two. And okay. And just sort the search volume from high to low. Add uh, before that the keywords uh, were uh twenty six hundred and now keywords are just only seventy uh seventy five, okay. So here is the keyword list uh that you can uh used uh for your product listing purpose, for your SEO purpose and for your optimization purpose. And after that you need to uh search one key one by one keyword on Amazon dot com and check out is there any irrelevant keyword. If there if you find an uh, any irrelevant keyword. then you can also remove this uh, keyword from this sheet okay uh, so you will uh, so this sheet will be ready and you can use this sheet for the listing purpose for the seo purpose now i need to segregate the keywords uh, for the ppc purpose i need to check out which keywords are uh, which keywords are branded keywords is there any spanish keyword so i need to check out them so uh, let's discuss so now uh, i need to segregate the keywords for the ppc purpose uh, there are uh, four to five five to six type of keywords the first one type of keyword is a uh, super relevant design specific keyword second one type of keyword is a uh, super relevant non design specific keyword third one is branded type keywords fourth one is spanish type keywords fifth one are bottom line or broad type keywords so i need to segregate uh, i need to uh, segregate these keywords so what i will do first of all i need to check out uh, what are my root words so as i told you i am selling acrylic sign holder 8.5 into lemon so the phrase is 
who have 8.5 in their uh, who have 8.5 word in the phrases or who have a acrylic a word in their phrases these will be uh, my super element and design specific keywords like this one uh, as i am selling acrylic sign holder 8.5 into lemon so this keyword is totally describing my product so this is the super relevant and design specific keyword because it's describing my design so i will create a new sheet and i will name the sheet like uh, super relevant design specific keywords so i will just i will just apply uh, the filters in the keyword phrase so i'm going to filter that uh, that just show me the keywords who have 8.5 in the phrases so these keywords who have 8.5 in the phrases are my uh, design specific and super relevant keywords so i'm going to copy from them uh, from the sheet and i'm going to uh, paste it here uh, let me format it so uh here okay so i am going to uh, remove this type of keywords because i have uh, copied them to the another sheet so i have don't need this type of keywords actually i have keep this keyword because it's a branded keyword so now let's clear the formula and now again apply the filter and search contain because my root words are acrylic and 8.5 these are total describes my product so I am going to search uh, acrylic here. So acrylic sign, acrylic sign holder, acrylic stands, uh, acrylic sign. So I knew if I search acrylic sign, so they will be a little bit uh, irrelevant keywords. So I think I need to search the words who contain acrylic, acrylic sign. So these are the uh, relevant keywords. Uh, design specific and super element keywords because uh, I have acrylic material okay so uh, like this one so I'm also going to remove these keywords from his from this sheet and again I am uh, going to keep this keyword Yukira because Yukira is a brand name so uh, these type of keywords are uh, super relevant and design specific keywords because these Keywords are totally describing my product like sign holder 8.5 into lemon, plastic sign holder 8.5 into lemon, flyer holder 8.5 into lemon. So these are descriptive keywords. So that's why I, I named these keywords as super element design specific keywords. Now second one type is super element and non design specific keywords. These are just like a uh, sign holder. So I'm just applying the formula of apply just to. Uh, filtering it uh, just show me the keywords who have a sign holder so these type of uh, keywords uh, are uh, super relevant and non design specific keywords so i am going to name them super relevant non design specific keywords so let me paste it here again let me format it okay perfect so now uh, i'm going to remove these keywords again uh, there is a brand name uh, in acrylic ikira uh, himi himi so i don't need uh, to remove these keywords from relevant sheet so like this one again uh, clear the filter now third one type of keywords are the branded keywords so i am going to rename them as branded keywords so how we will come to know which keywords are branded keywords the phrases who have a brand name uh, we can say that these type of keywords are branded keywords like if you see uh, this one Yukira acrylic sign holder Yukira is a, a big brand in uh, office category and him is also a big brand in the office category Yukira again uh, and him again so I am going to uh, filter that just show me the keywords who have Q Yokira and Himi in the phrases. Oh, I think it will uh 
I need to filter one by one. Yo, Kera, there are two types of keywords. There are just only two keywords in the Kiora. So I need to copy them and I need to paste them uh, in brandy type sheet. Okay. Uh, Okay, again, I need to format it. Now, this is the first brand name and I need to remove them from here. And second one is uh, Himi. Just search out uh, Himi. So there are also two keywords of Himi. You need to copy them and you need to paste in the brandy type keywords. Again, you need to remove these keywords from relevant sheet and now clear the filter. Now, the fourth one type of keywords are Spanish keywords. So we can check out if there are any Spanish keyword. Uh, this one is uh, a Spanish keyword. If you see uh, 8.5 into 11, this one is also a Spanish keyword. And if this one is also a Spanish keyword, it will be different. Uh, like grammarly from uh, other keywords so that's why we can uh, indicate these type of keywords and uh, i think there are just only two uh, uh there are only two uh, spanish type keywords so just filter by color and there are only uh two keywords so i'm going to name these type of keywords are uh, spanish keywords so we can uh use these keywords uh, in the PPC and there is a large of uh, there is a, a perfect uh, gap uh, in this type of uh, keywords while targeting in the PPC campaigns so again I need to format them so uh, these are uh, fourth one type and these the keyword that left behind uh, in the relevant uh, keyword sheet these are the uh, broad type keywords like acrylic stands for display it's irrelevant it's irrelevant it's irrelevant it's irrelevant so these types of keywords are a uh, broad line type keywords uh, i need to search them uh, one by one and i need to check is there a relevancy of this keyword with my listing if i have then i will select that keyword if no then i can use uh, this keyword in the also backend system so i can also use these keywords when i my brand will be profitable and I want to scale my profit so I can use these uh, type of keywords. So again, there are uh, five types of keywords here. Uh, super relevant, uh, design specific keywords, super relevant, non-design specific keywords, uh, branded keywords, uh, Spanish keyword, and then after that, uh, relevant keywords. So I hope this uh, in-depth keyword research uh, will help you a lot uh, for your product listing purpose and uh, especially in the targeting the keywords in the PPC campaigns. So uh, in the next video, I will uh, discuss what type of keywords we should target in the PPC campaigns. Till now, bye. Thank you so much.